Hey, welcome to this Corp Maths video on the distance between two points. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the formula to work out the distance between two points or the length of the line joining two points. Now, my younger students, to do this, what I would do is I'd get them to draw a sketch and create a right angle triangle, and we would use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of the line joining two points and the distance between two points. Now, we're going to do exactly the same, but we're going to call the first point x1, y1. We're going to call the second point x2, y2, and we're going to create this formula. So, first of all, let's work out this length here. So, this is the difference between their heights. The height of this point is y2. The height of this point is y1. So if we take them away, we'll get the length of this line. So this is going to be y2 minus y1. In terms of the length of this line, this is the difference in their x coordinates. So we would get our x2 and our x1, and we would take them away to get the length of this line. And now we're going to use Pythagoras' theorem to work out the length of the hypotenuse. So Pythagoras' theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now let's call the length of the hypotenuse d, so that's the distance between the two points, and let's substitute these into the formula. So a squared, that's one of the shorter sides, so let's call it this first one. So that's going to be x2 minus x1 squared plus the other shorter side, that's this one, so it's going to be y2 minus y1 squared, and that's equal to the hypotenuse squared, and that's going to be d squared. Now we don't want to know d squared, we want to know d, so we're going to square root both sides of this equation. So it's going to give us the square root, this is going to be a big square root sign going right over the top. And we've got x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared, and that's equal to d, and that's it. So this is the formula to work out the distance between two points. Let's have a look at it typed out. So we've got the distance, d, is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And that's it. Now in terms of labeling the points, we can call either one of them x1, y1, and x2, y2. I tend to just call the first one that I see x1, y1, and the second one x2, y2. It doesn't matter because we're gonna be squaring them. If we were had to have a negative instead of a positive, when we square it, we're just gonna get positive values anyway. So let's label the points. Here's our first question. It says, calculate the distance between the points negative three, nine, and negative one, negative two. So I'm gonna call my first coordinate x1, y1 and my second coordinate, x2, y2. So let's substitute these points into our formula. So we've got d is equal to the square root of, and we've got x2 minus x1. So x2 is equal to minus one, and we're gonna be subtracting x1, so that's negative three, so we'll be subtracting negative three squared then plus, and then we've got y2, so y2 is equal to negative two. And we're gonna be subtracting y1, so subtract nine squared. I'm just gonna carry on squared a bit. Okay, let's work out the brackets. So d is equal to the square root of, so minus one, minus, minus three. So that's gonna be minus one plus three, and that's gonna be two squared plus, and then our other bracket, we've got minus two take away nine. Now minus two take away nine is negative 11, or minus 11 squared. So d is equal to the square root of, and we're gonna square these, so two squared is equal to four, and minus 11 squared, well minus 11 times minus 11 is 121, so it's plus 121. Now we're gonna work out four plus 121, so d is equal to the square root of 125, and now we just need the square root that to get d, the distance between the two points. So when we do that, the square root of 125, that could be five root five, or it could be, if you want to write it as a decimal, the square root of 125 is equal to 11.18. And that's it. Okay, so let's have a look at our second example. So our second example says the distance between the points minus 8, minus 3, and Q9 is equal to 15. So then in this question, we've been given the distance between the points, and we've been asked to work out the possible values for Q. So um, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to label the points x1, y1, x2, y2 and d i suppose so we're going to get d is 15 equals the square root of brackets y2 so it's going to be equal or x2 so x2 is equal to q subtract x1 which is minus 8 close brackets squared plus and then the second bracket y2 that's going to be 9 minus y1 that's going to be equal to minus 3 close brackets squared. And now let's simplify these brackets. So we're gonna get 15 is equal to the square root of, and we've got Q minus minus eight. So it's gonna be Q plus eight squared. And the second bracket, we're gonna have nine minus minus three. So it's gonna be nine plus three, which is 12. So plus 12 squared. 
12 squared is 144, so we're going to have 15 is equal to the square root of q plus 8 squared plus 144. Now I want to get rid of the square root sign, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides of the equation. And when I do that I get 225 equals, and squaring the right hand side will just get rid of the square root symbol, so it's going to be q plus 8 squared plus 144. Now, we want to find Q, so let's subtract 144 from both sides of the equation. So that'll leave us with 81 equals Q plus 8 squared. Now, we've got Q plus 8 squared. So we're going to square root both sides of the equation. But just remember that a positive times a positive can be 81, but a negative times a negative can also be 81. So we're going to square root both sides, but remember we're going to have the positive and negative solution. So square, square root in 81 will be 9, so it's going to be positive or negative 9 is equal to q plus 8. So we want to find q on its own, so we're going to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. So I'm going to subtract 8 from both sides, and I'm going to put the 8 at the front here, so minus 8 plus or minus 9 equals q. And when I do I get minus 8 plus 9, so it's going to be equal to 1, so q can be equal to 1, or q can be equal to minus 8 subtract 9, and minus 8 subtract 9 would be minus 17. And there are two solutions, so q could be equal to 1, or q could be equal to minus 17. And that's it. So the distance between two points can be worked out using the formula, d equals the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And just remember that these two can actually be written either way around, so it could be y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. And that's it.